gon' step up for me Make sure my fans stay cause my daughter gotta eat I know I ain't perfect Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to my channel Welcome, welcome, welcome Thank you for all your support All your past support And all your future support And don't forget to For the ones that are subscribed to my channel Go on ahead and hit that notification bell So you'll know when I drop down videos And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet You're just still peeking in the bushes And seeing what I'm bringing out here and there In each coming week Go on and like and share and subscribe to my channel Okay, go on and do it You know you want to, okay Do it for the, do it for the vine Do it for the day of Chanel 48's world But we got another must-see video and it is definitely coming from Celebrity Insider. Yes, we're going to talk about this Kenya Moore saying that Nene tried to spit on her. Now, did she really try to spit on her? I don't know because we get Nene's take on it. And Nene is saying downright untruth. Is no truth to that story that I tried to spit on Kenya. And that's what I am saying and I am putting out there on social media. She's lying. She's lying. She's lying. Okay, let's go and see what ins uh, Celebrity Insider had to say about it, okay? The article is coming from Ricky Mathers over there. I guess she's a columnist or a journalist or um correspondent. She's breaking out, just simply uh, stating in her article that's titled, Nene Leaks Denies That She Spit on Kenya Moore. Well, okay, let's see what she's going to say about it, all right? It says, Kenya Moore presses uh, a Kenya Moore press run for her return to the new season of Real Housewives of Atlanta is centering, <coughs> excuse me, centering around her heated fuel with Nene Leaks. There has been a rumor running rampant that the Glee alum spits on the Queen of Twirl doing an argument that was brought up on both Watch What Happens Live and Andy Cohen and the Wendy Williams show. On both of the talk show programs, Kenya flat out said that Nene tried to spit on her. Wendy and Lee have become good friends after ending their long-standing feud, and the hostess was able to get a direct response from her new bestie. The 55-year-old shared with her studio audience that the Real Housewives of Atlanta personality didn't watch the interview, but was blown up with text messages about Moore's comments. Now, I tell you the truth. When people say they don't watch you, honey, they watching you. They watching you from afar. They watching you in the bushes. They watching you up from the skyscraper, up in the sky in the helicopter plane. They're uh, partaking in it. They are watching you, okay? They may not catch you every time, but people are either sending them clips, they're actually logging on to your channel or your social media platform, and they're viewing it. People that say that, they just lying, okay? They do. They find the information out if they don't seek it out themselves, okay? That was just my pun intended, not in this article. Going back to the article, it says, Nene Leaks, women, Nene like Wendy. I didn't even watch... Um, it, but my phone was blowing up. First of all, I didn't spit in her face. The former radio DJ then told audiences that Kenya is merely a friend to the show, but Nene is her real friend. Okay, maybe that's some Hollywood friends because you know, Wendy would take any story, whether it's good or bad, on Nene and turn it into a, a pot of gold for her to keep. Uh, increasing her revenue. So what friend does that to you? Put you on front street and tell all your business and then say, we're friends. Oh, please. Y'all Hollywood friends, okay? That's the difference from true, really uh, loyal type friendship. Going back to the article, it says, with that being said, Wendy explained to Leaks, we know Kenya can be a mean girl, but I said, Nene, is she a motherless child? Wait a minute, Nene is Wait a minute, Nene, she is a motherless child, okay? So I guess she's trying to uh, say, let's give Kenya a break because she didn't really have her mother in her life to form her, to guide her, to nurture her. So I guess uh, she's pretty much putting it towards uh, Nene not to be so hard on her. But we that's just my comment. We're going to go back to the article. It said, to which the Broadway actress responded that she wasn't raised by her mother either. Williams went on to say that viewers will see that the model is a really mean girl this season. This comes out the fans pointed out that Bravo celebrity was missing from the uh, the debut episode of 12th season, 12th season with Kenya opening the show. Uh, she gave another exclusive to Kevin X Hunter, ex-wife, when she stated, 
no matter how hard they try. When people think about Atlanta Housewives, they think about NeNe Leakes and all the comments on social media last night prove that. That is not to say the other girls don't bring it because they do. It's just facts. All right. Uh, and then it says, according to Kenya, Nini is not the queen of the franchise because Candy Burris is the highest paid. Now, I already did a video on that situation uh, about her alluding to Candy Burris trying to get on her good side. And I'm like, Kenya, 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 if you had the opportunity to uh, erase Candy from the show, you would definitely pounce on that opportunity and do just that. Kenya, you're not friends with nobody. It's the Kenya show. You want it to be the Kenya show, and it just is what it is. I am with most people who say, yeah, when you really think about the Real Housewives of Atlanta, the first person that comes to my mind is Nene Lee's, only because she has definitely been on this show longer than the other girls uh, that are running around here. Um, she's an OG. She was like one of the first members to come to Real Housewives of Atlanta. So, yeah, it, it is plausible to just understand that, yes, um, Nene should be respected to a certain degree. Now, when Nene start acting, you know, ratchet and just uh, downright nasty and, and, and alluding to things and talking about people in a, a very negative way and putting untruths out there, then, yeah, we all need to get her together, soak her back up, and let her fly. But, um... Uh, you got to pay somewhat type of homage to the ones that have definitely been there, been doing it, been giving us some type of mess to come back and gravitate to and say, OK, yes, Nene is the, the ratchetest one up there. But OK, it, the formula works for her. She's still getting paid nicely, so, such as the other ladies are, too. But uh, I don't really get too much on who making what and when and there because it doesn't matter. All I'm eating from that pot. OK, well, it's nicer than what they want to eat. Then, you know, that's needs, that means they pretty much need to step up their game and give us a lot more drama. Okay, a lot more drama. So I'm like getting in their faces, but not actually touching them. You know what I'm saying? In their inner space, where you're supposed to get a certain feat of separatism, of separatism. So you don't get into their personal space. But I mean, you up out in their personal space. Like you can just pretty much kiss them if you were that close. Trying to, you know, make your point, trying to be argumentative and all that kind of stuff. See, that's the kind of mindless drama that Bravo wants to bring to this show or any other reality uh, TV show. They really want raw, uncut stuff. They don't really want you putting hands on each other because it just goes into another whole, you know, avenue and a lot of whole litigation and this, that, and the third. But that's what they want. That what draws the people. People don't want to see anything happy these days. Don't want you to get up there. I know I did several videos talking about the Lord and all this other stuff. That's positivity, uh, driven and everything. People don't like that. People do not like People like drama. However they can get it, they like it because it separates them from what's going on in their lives. And they can just disconnect from reality just for a little bit and just look at something that's going to make them chuckle, laugh, or say, well, damn. You know, I know some people like that or whatever. But um, that's all I have for this video. All of this on my channel is pretty much alleged stuff. It's what I've gotten from other reputable blogs. And I'm just giving it to you with my spin on it or my opinion on how I feel about it. But y'all know how I felt about this video. Y'all get on down in the comments. Y'all tell me what y'all thought about this video. Is Nene lying? Is Kenya lying? I don't know, but I'd be plausible to say Nene probably did hook up that stuff in the back of her throat and probably wanted to spit it out on Kenya because Kenya probably pushed some major buttons and she knows she didn't want to hit her. So she probably thought, well, shit, I'm drunk. They can't really say that I was in my mind and whatnot, so I want to spit on her. <laughs> but I never got to the point where I want to spit on nobody. And I hope I never get to the point where I want to spit on somebody. Now, put my hands on somebody. That's another whole different ball game, another whole subject, and another whole video. But spitting on somebody? Mm -mm, no, ma'am. Mm -mm. I wouldn't even spit on an ant or, you know, something like that. This is too disgusting. So, Nene, I think it was in your repertoire or your brain, your memory set when Kenya was drilling you and, and you just felt like you just wanted to explode. I pretty much feel you did probably want to spit. But I'm glad you caught yourself because, Lord have mercy, if you did spit on that girl, woo, I don't even think you would have a career. <laughs>
with the Bravo family. Because that's just that's nasty, Nitty. That's just downright nasty. And I'm hurt of. We don't want that kind of mess. We want you to continue to throw blows with the mouth. We want you to come at her with the mouth. We want you to, you know, uh aggr aggravate her and interrogate her if you could. You know, get, get it, give us all of that. But don't, don't go be putting your body in fluids on nobody, not even folks that you think you cool with. No, no, uh -uh. that's like Mike Tyson biting off somebody ear when he had that fight. He just got all crazy. He could have been on some substance boost, uh, some substance, uh, illegal substance, but that's allegedly now. But it just took him out, out of his character. Why he wanted to bite somebody ear off? And then out here going around here talking about you want to spit on somebody, girl, did you drink too much? What, what's going on, Nene? What's going on, girl? What's going on? But I'm glad you did. I'm so glad you did. The thought of you wanting to do it. It, it, it's very mind-boggling and disturbing, but I'm glad you didn't do it, because, whoo, child, that would be another whole web of uh, entertainment to get into, and I don't think I could even cover that, because it's just nasty, and it's just nasty. But anyway, that's all I have for this video. Hope you all enjoyed it, and um, I'll be back with another one, okay? And then I don't think I'll be uh, doing any videotaping unless so a story comes across my media feed. Uh, tomorrow sometime, you know, when we are out and about trying to do our um, things that we have to do on the weekend. I think I'm going to come back with one more video, then I'm going to call it a day. Y'all probably won't hear from me until Sunday when I do my uh, poll re polling results. But y'all have a good weekend, and I'll talk to you soon. Goodbye.